Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to come on and talk to you about how to naturally boost progesterone. This is going to be really important when you're tracking your hormones in your cycle and focusing on the second part of your hormonal cycle. So when we look at this, sometimes if you're not sure where you're at, this can be a tough way to start off with if you're like, um, I'm not sure what, oh my gosh, I'm really making a mess of this graph. Um, I'm not sure where I'm at. I don't know when my cycle is, it's kind of irregular, that type of thing. Um, that's okay, start tracking, use your basal body temperature, that can really, really help as well. But this is gonna be this phase here, days 14 through 28, or days 15 through 28 of your hormonal cycle. This is the progesterone phase right here, and this is the focus right now. Why is this so important? Why do we need this progesterone phase here? Uh, well, progesterone literally means progestation, so it's helping, you know, prepare your body for a viable pregnancy every single month, whether or not it happens. Hmm, isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. So it's going to do special things like slow down your digestive system, make you a little more fatigued, it can disrupt your sleep, mm -hmm. it can make you hungrier. Your body's going to need more calorie, more nutrient. <clears throat> if you're not leaning into some of those things, then it's actually going to be really, really tough for your system to really be able to get all the nutrient it needs for the job it's doing, right? This is a point in your hormonal cycle where a lot of things are changing in your body. Your blood volume changes, the fluid levels in your system change, right? Your uterus is twice as big. Ah, what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, super fun, right? Ugh. Right? I mean, think about that. There's an organ inside your body that goes from like being like this to being like this, and then like this, and then like this. Like, that's a big deal, okay? It, it's a lot of work. It's doing some heavy lifting for you. So it's great if you can help your system out by feeding it and fueling it in the correct fashion to really give your body what it needs throughout the month. Now, there are some specific things that you can do to help your system boost progesterone naturally. Help your body make and create and maintain the right amount of progesterone. This is also a big key thing for a lot of women who are worried about fertility. I'll talk about that uh, a little bit more in my video tomorrow. Um, but if this is something where you're like, oh my gosh, yes, my basal body temperature rises and then drops again, it rises, here we go. So this should be lower here. It should rise and stay higher here. If it doesn't stay higher, if it drops and comes back down, that's a problem, right? That is something that you really gotta work on. Hi guys, hi Patty, hi Katie. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do here is put a link where you can um, fill out an application if you need more help. There is an application where you can fill out to work with me in a VIP one-on-one -on -one level. If you are noticing things are off, this is an issue for you, something that you really want to dive in, take care of, and get that customized help for you. So just so you know, there's resources and things I have available for you, but when we're looking at that, the importance of this too is that if your basal body temperature stays higher, your body's gonna function, work better, and that's also a metabolism booster for you. Mm -hmm. That increases, that increase in your, in your core body temperature is another, is another way to help your body burn deeper layers of fat. Katie loves me some progesterone, <laughs> right? <laughs> Beth is the best, yay, thanks Katie. You're the, I love, uh, Katie's amazing. If you guys aren't following her, you should um, follow her. She has some great information. Um, a very, very smart gal that puts a lot of really good info out. Um, okay, so progesterone, if there's an issue, something to be aware of, or if you feel really terrible, especially the week before your period starts, something that you really need to address. It's common, but it's not normal to feel like a pile of hot garbage all the time for that week or two before your period starts. If this is you, go in the comments, fill out that application because there's so much more you can do on a regular everyday basis to help your system work and function better to get rid of all those other things that you're struggling with, you know, including any excess weight because that also plays into this. So where are some things that I can start with? What are some things that I can do, right? I've got a lot of info um, in my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon. So again, this details some of these things out as well. I have a whole book for women in menopause. So if you're in menopause, you're like, how do I know? This, is this for me? I got a book for that too. Um, so there is that is out there as well. But warming foods to focus on, like chicken, turkey, fish, right? You're gonna cook all your fruits and vegetables, add that heat to it. That's a really, really important component 
to really getting adding more warmth to your system. Turn the heat up. Literally, <laughs> cook your foods, all that stuff help break it down. Your digestive system isn't working as well. It doesn't move as quickly at this point of your hormonal cycle, so it needs a little help. Break that food down a little bit before by just, you know, heating it up, chewing it more, chew, chew, chew your food. That, I didn't mean to sound like a train, sorry. Ooh. Oh. Anyway, warming foods, chew your food, that's gonna help your gut. Spices, add seasonings, add spices, hot sauce, jalapenos, peppers, whatever, add them in. Even spices like ginger and cinnamon, very, very warming and really good for the gut. I mean, the, these spices and other things are really helpful for other areas of health as well. Heart health and gut health, and great but they're also gonna warm up your system more, increase that thermogenic property to help you get to and stay in that fat burning zone a little bit more. Women, we just don't stay in fat burning like men do because our bodies aren't designed to do that. So you might be wondering why is this so important? Why is this such a big thing? So for men, like if men go and do a workout at the gym, they can stay in fat burning 20, 21 hours, 22 hours. Women, we get maximum three hours of fat burning. That's if we worked out correctly and didn't over push it. That's if we fueled correctly. That's if we are getting enough sleep and if we don't have too much stress and if we don't have hormonal issues and if, right, then we don't even get those full three hours. You might be in fat burning like just while you're working out and then you switch back into fat storage. So help your system out as much as you can. Just tap into that fat burning. Tap into that fat burning a little bit more, a little bit more, because our bodies, if you're looking for a different result, these are ways that you can do this with your system. So, <laughs> Patty, thanks. Patty's like, oh, well, you're funny. <laughs> um, I think she's laughing at me because I made a train noise, and then I realized I did that. I spent many years playing Thomas the Train with my son. Many years. <laughs> I know those of you that have had that, you know what I mean. Okay, last thing here I'm going to talk about uh, for progesterone, this is again helps your system make and maintain and process through the right amount of progesterone. So it's not too much, too little, right? Your body knows what it needs to do. You just have to give it that assistance, that guidance to help it go through that pattern. So sesame and sunflower seeds. Adding a tablespoon of each, this is part of the seed cycling, a tablespoon of each during this time every day, right? So when we're looking at progesterone in that warming phase, we're just looking at this phase right here just this right here so we're looking at days you know 15 through 28 sorry i wrote that kind of sloppy but days 15 through 20 of the cycle not any any other times this is when we focus on this because it really helps with progesterone it's going to help so much oh my gosh so much with hormone balancing pms symptoms all those other things again as long as you are combining this with adding those extra nutrients in extra minerals in this is why women get cravings at this time too. It's crazy what happens when you start to really shift how you're eating and match it with your hormonal cycle to see and feel a completely different result with your system. Finally, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is actually working. I can feel my body responding better. I can feel this improved result. It's great. So that's what I got for you guys. You guys, I can seriously hear you whispering right back there. You're, you're whispering really, really loud. It's picking up on my audio, but you're great. I love you. If you want to talk, you can. They're making noise. I have kids. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Last one. Okay. Stop. stop. Anyway, um, that's what I got for you guys tonight. So again, there's a link in the comments where you can fill out an application to work with me. Um, I have only a few slots where I do this for, where I, I work with women on a very one-on-one -on -one level, creating customized plans for them. So if that's something that you're looking for help with, there's going to be info and um, a link there that you can fill out an application right there in the comments. Um, and, and a couple other resources I have for you just, you know, because I love giving you resources. Women that I work with, like, it's not like they're like, oh, I don't know how to eat healthy. Blah, blah, blah. No, it's, you've been doing things. You've been trying things. You're, you're doing your research, right? You're, most women are like, I've been trying to do this for at least a year or two years or five years or 10 years or more. And here are the things I've struggled with. Here are the la here's the laundry list of things I've tried, right? So it, that's, that's very normal. So I totally understand. So that's why I have so many resources for you to go through as well. So that if you find something that just clicks and it works, awesome.
that's awesome, right? If you read the book and you're like, I got it, here we go. But if you read the book or you watch some videos on my YouTube, which is Dr. Beth Westy, um, just YouTube Dr. Beth Westy, you can subscribe to that and you're like, oh, wait, I need more help. That's where going and filling out the application that's in the comments is gonna be the next best step for you. Um, oh, I also have a podcast, The Female Health Solution. So that's on all places podcast. You can subscribe to that as well to stay updated on all the episodes that come out. All right. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night and that this was really helpful. If you have more questions on this, send me a message. If you need more help with this, send me a message and I am going to, um, I'll do a whole separate video on whatever it is that you guys need help with. Cause sometimes I'll do a video and I'll get like <laughs> a dozen messages. Hey, what about this other thing? And it's like a specific thing that people have questions on. So I'll just create a whole video for that. So, um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night and I will see you later.